Anyone who works in the workshop, this is the best. You've got metric, I've got an yep. uh, Imperial one as well. Any thread, you're not sure, you don't have to guess. It's, I've used it all the time when I'm building cars. This is one of the best tools. And what the hell is going on with this crazy <laughs> bloody um, Monaro here? So well, HQ anyway. It was a HQ, it? it's not a genuine Monaro. So I bought this in 2012. Yep. Um, and it was, I was looking for a HQ because we were going to buy a 2005 Monaro. And then my missus said to him, instead of that, why don't you build a car in honor of your uncle? He had a Monaro. I yeah. said, yeah, that's a great idea. So I put an ad in the Quokka, Wanted, HQ, V8. And a guy replied to me and he said, hey, I've got one. And, um, you know, we talked for a while. Went, went, you know, he gave us his address and we went there and when he undid the covers, where my face dropped, I thought, what the hell is this? Yeah, you yeah. know, what is this? And my missus goes, oh my God. She goes, you're not going to buy this, surely. <laughs> you know? And I said, and I looked at it closely and I said, it's just cosmetic. Yeah, it's yeah. Co it had all the right ingredients to yeah. make it into a Monaro. It had all the right engine, gearbox, diff. Um, it had bucket seats, but it had Tirana flip front bucket seats. Yeah. Coupe seats, but it doesn't matter. I ended up getting HQ seats and um, yeah, we built it to what I've got now. All right, Joe. This is the HQ. <laughs> this is the HQ, yep. So this is the one that you, it's a replica of your uncle's. That's exactly so right. So tell us about it. Tell us, you know, we've seen the pictures on the wall. Yeah. So. Let's have a look at it. They'll, what have you done to it? Um, it's a throw eight, and when I bought it, it was already a throw eight. Yep. It was a turbo 400 and a 10 bolt diff. Yep. Um, it's got 336 gears at the back. Uh, basically, if you've seen from the photos, you'll see the way it was. Oh, yeah. I was very lucky when I bought it. Um, it was, I've had this for 10 years now. Yep. And um, it, when I bought it, I put an ad wanted in the, in the uh, Quokka. Yep. And a guy rang me, and the rest is history. Basically, I went and looked at it, um, and I thought, great, clean body, cosmetic, the paint, you know, as you've seen from the photos. Yeah. And I wanted to do a tribute for my uncle who passed away. Unfortunately, he passed away when he was 19. Yeah. He had, was in a two door Monaro, and um, he had an accident on the way home from work. Oh, okay. And um, yeah. I was a kid back then, you know, I didn't know much. But then as the time grew, but you really, you know, I miss him because we were close and yep. I want to do a replica of what he had when, you know, not the car he had next to him, but the one prior to that. And yep. so I managed to build this to exactly what he had. I went off only two photos. Yep. Um, and the biggest thing with this is I managed to get the same number plate that he had. So awesome. We lucky. noticed that when we looked at the car. <laughs> yeah. Like that is fantastic because yeah. that just makes, makes it, it. Makes it. Finishes it off. Yeah, it definitely Absolutely. does. Yeah, it definitely does. And, uh, you know, when I finished it, I went and showed all his brothers. Yep. And they couldn't believe it. They just said, my God, it's the same car. But I said, no, it's not. It's a replica of what he had. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. And they were really emotional about it. You know, I've taken oh, the cemetery and all that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really, really nice. So it's the closest to my heart, yep. this, um, out of all my cars, even though, you know, I've got the XC Cobra. Yeah. I've got the XY. But emotionally, this is the, the car. You know, every time I yeah. drive, I always think of my uncle. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. as you would. I mean, I love the colouring, the decals on it and everything yeah. like that. So the colour on this, what is it called? So this is a tangerine. Yep. Um, and everyone calls it low-known range stripe, but it's O long range striper. Yep. Um, that's what the colour is. Because uh, they couldn't work out, they couldn't find the colour because they was looking for Lone Ranger when they were painting it, but it's yep. O Lone Ranger. Okay. Yeah, yep. so that's the colour it is. It's the original Holden Monaro colour, you know, GDS. Yep. Um, and it's got all the correct GDS wheels, GDS dash, and, and everything that you should, you know, the houndstooth, what it's supposed to be. Absolutely. So, um, let's have a look underneath the hood. Yeah, definitely. Oh, nice. So, believe it or not, this is 10 years. Wow. And um, it's driven, not hidden, like yep. all my cars. I drive it quite, quite a lot and uh, do a few runs, car shows, been to the Holden Day. Yeah, perfect. Um, 
we're part of Northern Steel and I take them there. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's done its rounds, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And, I uh, mean, the, the All Holden Day, your GM owner's yes. day is coming up in uh, uh, November. November, and yeah. this will be there. Absolutely. This will be there. I'm awesome. taking this. I've already entered it and I wanted to do that. And people like looking, I've got a storyboard with this Perfect. as well. And, uh, and it's got, it shows a picture of where my uncle had it. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and I'm going to bring the photo board that you saw up yeah, earlier. Yeah. I'm going to bring that as well. People are like amazed and, and they like a bit of history on with cars. Absolutely. You know? The story behind the cars is what gives it that kind of feel of where it's yeah. been through. And, and these cars, like at the end of the day, when we were kids, we just used to rough these cars. Oh, yes. You know, it wasn't, these yeah. weren't special to us. This no. was just day-to-day -day drives, day. like the kids it's, drive now. It's like a Commodore today. Yeah. Would you look at a VE, VF Commodore? Well, you know, we drive them every day. We don't really worry Absolutely. about them. Absolutely. But yeah. now these things are just, you know, classics. And every one of us wish we could go back and, and get them. all the cars we had. Of course, of course. Absolutely. We're all the same. We all wanted to go back and go, wish I, mean, I never sold it. You know. I'm glad you've got all your clothes and wow, it's just like, oh, I was lucky, like if I had to buy them today at today's prices, I probably wouldn't have what I've got. I was yeah. lucky to get them back, even though at the time I thought, geez, they're expensive. But reality now is they weren't expensive, but no, I thought it was no, expensive, no. you know. I mean, these days you'd be paying very, very top dollars. Oh, so. you would do, yeah. This, absolutely. yeah. Even replicas are fetching big, yeah, big dollars. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. I do like replicas because you can change a few things. You can hide a little bit of wiring. You know, I don't have to have the original covers or air yeah. cleaner. I can change it a little bit, but still make it look as, as best I can, you know, yeah, to yeah. the original. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when I like, even with my car, my car was the original numbers matching. Yes. You can't do anything with it. Yes. Once it's, it's that's it. Yes. You don't Same play with original it. ones. <laughs> you know, you got to leave it as it is because that's where it is. Yes, correct. But when it's something like this, you can you can play around play with it. it. You well. can customize it however you want to make it feel. Yeah. Well, I changed um, a little bit because like th just little things like this yeah. is where the washer bottle sit. But to make it neater, I actually made a bracket and put it behind the battery there. So that's it's still a good working. idea. I like that. It's and nice so it's and not hidden that bulky there. looking. Absolutely. Thing. Thing yeah. that it uh, That's that it was just little things like that. I always like to customize it a little bit without going overboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just those little subtle things that yes. make it worthwhile. Definitely. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. And um, oh, once again, like you said, you've done an amazing job. Um, the interior. Did you have to redo the whole interior again? Or? Yeah. Well, basically, when I bought it, I had to run a bucket seats, but I had the uh, fold down forward bucket so from my oh, hatch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And um, I didn't want, obviously I wanted the Monaro seats, so I sold them and, and I bought two bucket seats that came out of a ute, like a bricklayer's ute. They were yep. terrible. But I got them redone and re reupholstered. Lucky enough, the good thing about today is you can buy replica parts, which is great. Yep. You know, the, the main thing is when I'm building, if I buy a car and build to keep, I always look, the hardest things to get is like dashes, GTs or G, G, GDS dashes yep. or bucket seats. They're the hardest. The yep. rest you can pretty well buy. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I've got the seats redone, brand new door trims, all reproduction Perfect. stuff. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you wouldn't. No one really can tell the difference when, to, unless they're a connoisseur. Yeah. But, well, or, ever, everyone does ask, is it genuine? And most people don't ask because they think it is. Yeah. You know, and you really, there's no difference this between this and the genuine. Obviously, hasn't got the correct tags. Yeah. Well, that, that's about the only thing that makes it stand apart Correct. you know yeah but at the end of the day you've done it to how it was supposed to be yes as per the specification exactly. yeah. so therefore it's a win-win yeah you know great you got the number plate to honor your uncle yes which is for perfect. sure definitely yeah. and you know like you said his brothers would have been just over the moon they were over the moon and and my mum you know it was a brother and sister my mum she was like flabbergasted she didn't, couldn't believe it you know yeah <laughs> she was so excited about it um yeah so it's been really good Perfect, mate. No drum. So, show us the interior. Yeah, come and have a what look. What you've got. So, full GDS dash. Yep. So, back in the, when I bought it, you couldn't buy a reproduction clock. So, things have advanced. So, this build is 10 years old now. So, yep. you can buy a reproduction clock now. Back then, you couldn't. I had to get it fixed. Yep. It only lasted like two years and then it stops. So just, I've left well, it. I, I think most of the holding clocks, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they for some reason, they were like, oh, yeah, I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, but, you know, correct console. Um, it's got the correct seats, carpets, and the door trims are reproduction. They're really, really good quality. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've got the dash pad rebuilt. I think dashboard doctor. And all 
I've got a, the only extra, I've got a power antenna switch, because I okay, love that, yep, yep. <laughs> having a power antenna. Yep. There's one of the extras back in the day. Yep. Um, no aircon, no power steering, obviously. But, no, that's fair enough. But everything else is um, pretty well what a Monaro should be. Yeah, absolutely. You know, no, all the stainless was re, um, it all came with the car, but then I had to get it redone. Like, um, there's a guy that does that, that yep. I know. Uh, I've been very lucky with the trades. I know a lot of good trades people. And I've got a good painter that, that does most of my cars. You know, this wasn't done by him. Yeah. But um, other, uh, he's done a lot of other things for oh, me. Awesome. Yeah. No, it, it's great, mate. Great. Like, yeah, you've done your uncle proud, yes. for sure. Um, I don't know what you can say about it. It's just yeah. perfect. Well, um, yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I've taken it, you know, like I said, to a few runs and, and shows and all that, and we drive it quite a bit. So, yeah. like I said before, we, I drive them. As soon as it's a sunny day, we're out for a drive. You yeah. know? And yeah. you've got the badge on the back that it honours your yeah. uncle as well. Yeah, and definitely. The I wanted that so. um, to honour him. Yep. Um, and so I put it just something subtle. Yep. So it was good. That's it. When I first got the car and I showed my boys that you've met, um, where the petrol, they couldn't work out where the petrol tap is <laughs> yeah. on this one. They had no idea. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, obviously you put the number plate down. Yeah. So that was pretty good. But they, it's good It's good to get the young kids to learn about the... Yeah, like you've given your sons an education on yeah. these kind of classic cars and what they actually mean. Yes. And that is priceless because now they're going to take that and pass that on pass to their on, kids, yeah. you know, when that, they get older. That's the thing with a lot of uh, guys my age, if their kids haven't got that passion, and not all of them have, no. it's a pity because then that's going to get lost. And, but there are some kids who love love old cars. And, Absolutely. And, and their dads are maybe not into it. But yep. hopefully the generation after we're gone, they continue on, you know. That's it, that's yeah. it. I mean, it's, it's great that you and your boys have been involved in these kind of cars. <laughs> You've got this massive collection here, mm. which is fantastic. Like, okay. We're just grateful that you guys could have us here and we yeah. can interview you if, if I was the garage coming in and doing this. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Nah, it's great, great to have you guys. And um, we, you know, my cars that I build, they're, they're not completely perfect. They're not a show car, yep. but they're a clean street car. And that's what I want. Just a nice, clean street car. If I had a show car, I wouldn't be driving it. That's the problem. Well, that's it. They're made to be used, isn't it? They're made to be used. Not to be sitting in storage doing nothing. Exactly, yeah. So you will get the occasional chip underneath or you will get something, a mark on it. Um, But, you know, even though how careful we are, um, but at least they're drivable cars. You know, you can enjoy them. Not a drama, Joe. Well, look, great to um, actually see your your family's passion and what drives you guys and, and... Throughout this whole sure. collection, it's been perfect. No, it's been great. I mean, I remember you saying, uh, you know, I'll come to your garage yep. after you interviewed me with the Cobra. Absolutely. And, and this is good that you've come over. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's what we want. We want to see these collections. We want to see people, what they've got in their garages. Yeah. And, you know, where things happen, because this is where the story lies. And this is exactly. what we want. And you guys have done just that. Yes. You know, oh, and, for and sure, yeah. Perfect. And, and, um, and it's a good... It, yeah. I mean, the cars bring other things. Like, you go... You know, you go for a cruise and, and you might go to lunch somewhere and something happens or someone talks to you and yeah. and they're the memories that you don't think at the time, but then 10 years down the track, my mister goes, oh, I remember when you first took the XY out. You know, this man came up to us and this one. Yeah. And, and you just remember that. And then, and a lot of the, um, you know, our age group have bought the old cars back. So you yes. get to remix with the people you used to go to school with. And, yeah. and you meet them at car shows and you go, oh, did you used to go to that school? Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. And, and you start mixing and it's a good, it's a good family atmosphere. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And this is what we're trying to achieve here. We're yeah. trying to make sure that these cars don't get lost yes. and the story behind them doesn't get lost. Correct. So it's been definitely our privilege from Aussie Garage to come out and have a chat with you and your family. And um, so thank you for showing us around your collection. Like, my myself, I'm so jealous. Um, <laughs> I wish I had it. But at the end of the day, yeah. like you've done yourself proud. Yeah. Uh, your kids are over the moon with oh, what you've done for them. Definitely, yeah. Like, I don't know many yeah. fathers that would go that extra yeah. mile like you have. Yeah, they've always said that. Uh, I mean, if I didn't have a passion, I probably wouldn't have what they've got. Yep. Um, but um, since I started, they took an interest and I said, let's, let's get one each for you guys as yep. well. And they were really happy with it. And they're that. definitely on board with it. They're, they're on board are. with it. And they can't believe it. You know, when they first drive in, they go, oh, my dad 
you know, some people wave to me, you know, yeah, yep, and, and, yep. A, and then mine, and a lot of them go, is that your dad's car? And they go, no, that's actually my car. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah Which yeah, is yeah. good, which is good, yeah. Well, it's going to be great when we see all four of you out yep. driving around and your wife's going to try yes. coming out. So that's going to be good. We're going to come back and see that anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that is going to be awesome when yes. all four of you are out cruising down the street. For sure, yeah. Well, you'll see coming up with the Cobra when it's finished. Yep. And then I'll give you some updates on the Tirana when it's in here. So you awesome. can have a look at that. All right, Joe. Well, thanks for talking Thank to us. Thank you very much. Thanks for showing you. us around. Thank you very much. Appreciate for it. Out. Yeah. And it's been awesome. That's my pleasure you coming out. No problem, mate. Thank you. All good. Good.